Today, Colorado Springs Mayor Steve Bach announced he will not run for a second term. And that is tonight's top story. Mayor Bach was elected May of 2011, and his term ends in 2015. Now, he's the city's first strong mayor under the city's new charter, which voters approved just over four years ago. Fox 21's Allison Mastrangelo has the reasons behind his decision. Allison. Lauren, Mayor Bach says it wasn't easy being the city's first strong mayor. He faced many challenges no other mayors in the spring has faced, but says he's been thinking about this for a long time and wanted to wait to announce his decision until the 2015 budget process was over. Four years ago when I ran for mayor, <clears throat> I said I would likely be a one-term mayor. Mayor Bach says this was not an easy decision, but feels it's time for a change. I think I've learned over the decades when to recognize that it's time to step aside and pass the ball to the next person to take you know, the operation forward. And when asked if he's not running due to lack of fundraising, he says that was never an issue. I'm not deterred by who's running. I'm not deterred by fundraising. I'm not deterred by spent special interests who are unhappy with me. Um, I think the first mayor in here had to do some things uh, that maybe are not popular uh, with certain uh, facets of um, of the community, but <clears throat> I think we made the right call most of the time. As mayor, he says one of his accomplishments he's most proud of is making the government more business and citizen friendly. We have laid, I believe, a strong foundation for the future, a strong foundation for success because of the way we've changed the culture of this city government. There's much more work to do. One of his biggest disappointments, he says, is that he was never good at being a politician. That I'm a businessman, not a politician. I have struggled with how to come across in a more uh, diplomatic way. Jan Martin says it's no secret council hasn't had the best relationship with the mayor, but she looks forward to one that will work together with council. Uh, I think there's hope on everybody's part that a new mayor will provide more opportunities to sit down and really collaborate together. As for what the future holds, Bach says he wants to find time to still help build the local economy. We must find a way to uh, diversify this economy, um, to keep all the good employers we have here, including the military and all of our private sector employers, how to attract more quality companies so this can be a, a vibrant community for generations to come. Mayor Bach says his advice to the next mayor is to be ready to make tough decisions and to not sweat the small stuff and at the end of the day to just do the right thing. Joe, Lauren, back to you. All right, thanks, Allison. Well, Mary Lou Makepeace, a candidate for the 2015 mayor's race, also commenting tonight on Bach's announcement not to run. She says, quote, I thank Mayor Bach for his service and for taking on a new role as the city's first strong mayor. Now that he has made his announcement, we can begin to focus on the issues that matter to the voters for the upcoming election. And earlier, we asked you on Facebook, what do you think of Mayor Bach's decision? Here's what some of you had to say. Jared Rigo, he's the communications director for Doug Lamborn. He posted, a great man who did great things for our city. Pleasure to call him a friend, and it was an honor to work for him. I learned a great deal that will serve me well for the rest of my life. And Diana said, fantastic. No more my way or the highway. A lot of people commenting, our viewers anyway, the ones who posted, we're overwhelmingly pretty happy to see him go. But hey, uh, join in on this discussion. You can just head to our Facebook page. Also, Joel Miller is one of the candidates that actually put his name in the hat. Mm -hmm. And uh, he obviously resigned from his position as city council. They named a new city councilman tonight, and that is Larry Bagley. He will now sit in District 2 seat over right. Joel Miller. Congratulations, Dan.